I'm in a relationship, have been for five years, trying to keep it fresh. Long time in it, five years for a relationship, trying to do new things, excite each other, keep each other on our toes, like she keeps talking about how she wants to have sex outside of the relationship. <laughs> I think we learn about sex too young, you know? I'm 11. <laughs> I'm 28, it's called Nivea, relax. <laughs> I think we're taught about it too young, man. Growing up, my mum always used to say, if you masturbate too much, you go blind. It's a weird thing to say to a child, isn't it? That's what you say. If you masturbate too much, you go blind. And then, like, one week ago, she asked me to drive her to get laser eye surgery. <laughs> oh, that's not idea of my life. It's not perfect. But we are. We're trying to keep it fresh, uh, trying to do new things, me and my girlfriend, you know. Reading all these articles about what you can do uh, to keep the spark alive in a relationship. So this article recently, right, the headline of the article, it said, Couples who schedule sex have better sex. No. <laughs> Couples who schedule sex are available to take a survey. <laughs> that is all you found out. That's all your research has revealed, I'm afraid. <laughs> we, we moved in together this year, me and my girlfriend, because we were too happy. And <laughs> we felt it was time to present ourselves with a needless challenge. So we moved in together, and now that we live together, my life is basically just answering the question, are you cold? That's all it is, right? <laughs> if you live with your girlfriend, that is all she wants to know every 10 minutes. Are you cold? I'm like, oh, not on the outside. Anyway, <laughs> I'm joking in truth. I love living with her. It's great to go back home to her after a nice, successful night of slagging her off. It feels good. <laughs> How was the show? Don't worry about it. Never come and watch. Never come and watch. <laughs> well, we moved into this flat, right? And we're renting this flat. And uh, I suppose I didn't need to clarify that bit. No one's watching this so far going, well, this is a homeowner. <laughs> we, uh, we're renting this flat, right? And there's all these surprises in our new flat, right? Like, it turns out that our double bed is actually just two single beds that had been pushed together, like a travel lodge. <laughs> it's unacceptable. The thing is, I couldn't have known that on the house viewing, could I? Because, obviously, that bed had a sheet on it. I don't know if you've been on a house viewing lately. You're not going to lift that sheet up. Well, you are allowed to, but it is frowned upon, OK? You just have to assume you know what's under the sheet. It's very much like a morgue in that sense. <laughs> Well, I know it's under there, not my sort of thing, I'm going to leave it. In fact, the only way it could have been worse, if I'd moved into my new flat, lifted up that sheet, and there had been a dead body under it. And the only way that could have been worse, if it was two dead bodies that had been pushed together, I'd have been furious. <laughs> oh, tricked, how dare you. <laughs>